Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this video, I want to talk about the reasons why your computer might not be getting the Windows 11 version 24H2. Okay, let's dive into this information. Before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. First and foremost, yes, Microsoft has released version 24H2 on October 1st, 2024, but this is only for newer devices that are already running version 23H2 and 22H2. Also, it is important to understand that the rollout happens slowly and in phases. So it will take months to reach every compatible computer, even if you go and click that check for updates button on the Windows update settings. If your computer already has Windows 11 with supported hardware, at some point it will receive the feature update but it will also depend on the hardware and software configuration, your physical location, and other factors. For example, if the Microsoft Update Service detects that one or more peripherals, internal components, applications, or configurations are not working on your computer with the new version, then you won't see the option to upgrade. Also, if you want to see the Upgrade button on the Windows Update settings, you have to make sure that your computer that is already running 23H2 or 22H2 already has the May 2024 non-security update, the preview, or any latest version after that update. Otherwise, the computer is not going to see the new update. If you have the latest updates already installed on the computer, then your computer should technically see the new version of Windows for download if it is compatible. Now, if you're not getting the option to upgrade from the Windows Update settings, usually it means that your computer is not compatible at this time. So it is not recommended to upgrade the system using the ISO file, installation assistant, or the USB installer. Also, at the time of this video, Microsoft has published a number of issues with version 24H2 and is actually blocking the upgrade on affected devices. For instance, currently devices that have the Easy Anti-Cheat app and the Intel Smart Sound Technology drivers are expecting blue screen errors. So these devices are not getting the update until these issues are resolved. Microsoft also notes problems with apps that customize the desktop with wallpapers and other apps. I have also received reports from users that some other apps are also breaking compatibility with version 24H2. Even further, in some devices, the fingerprint sensor is causing issues. And these are some of the issues that we know about. Other devices are even having other issues. However, this doesn't mean that the new version is a bad release. Every time a new version of the operating system releases, we see this happening. And even Microsoft know this. So that's why the gradual rollout. Now let's talk about features. When Microsoft rolls out a new version of the operating system, it doesn't mean that every device will receive all the intended features on day one. The company also uses the controlled feature rollout technology, which gradually activates the new features on computers. Also, some features are not even available yet, and others will require a specific hardware. So this brings me to the next point, which is AI features. As part of the version 24H2, one of the biggest push that Microsoft is doing is in the AI area. Although there are many good reactions, there are also bad reactions about AI features on Windows 11. So let me just say that AI features will require AI hardware, such as an MPU, meaning that unless you recently purchased a Copilot Plus PC, then you are unlikely to get many of these new AI features. This also means that if you are worried about for example, Windows Recall being part of your installation, well, don't, because it won't be available to you. Now, for those of you who are interested on those AI features, such as Windows Recall, the Windows Studio Effects, Auto Super Resolution, Voice Clarity, Voice Focus, Click To Do, Windows Search with AI, Live Captions, and others, well, at the time of this video, Windows 11 version 24H2 is rolling out, but without these AI features. Actually, Microsoft will start testing these new features through the Windows Insider program, starting with Copilot Plus PCs. This will happen soon, and some of them 
will start rolling out sometime in November. Now let's talk about Windows 11 version 24H2 for unsupported hardware, because I've been getting a lot of comments about this, and some of you are reporting issues, upgrading, and installing the latest updates. And I wanted to be clear on some points. So first, if you have a computer that doesn't meet the hardware requirements, then your computer is already not supported. So don't expect much. If you follow any of the methods to upgrade, those methods may or may not work. That's just how it is because the device is already not supported. If the upgrade work with another version of Windows 11, it doesn't mean that it will work again because of all the changes that Microsoft is doing to the new version of the operating system. As new versions of Windows come out, also expect that more devices won't be able to upgrade, as those devices with unsupported hardware will get even older. Also, if you manage to upgrade to version 24H2, you have to expect issues and other things not working correctly on your computer. Finally, if you manage to upgrade to version 24H2, your computer will continue to get updates. However, Microsoft is not obligated to support unsupported devices. So future updates may break things. So be prepared. Finally, if you have a computer that already has a version of Windows that is still supported, you don't need to upgrade. Just enjoy the setup you have. Like in my case, I have my main computer still running version 23H2, and I don't have plans to upgrade yet. My rule of thumb when it comes to upgrades is to wait at least three cumulative updates before thinking on upgrading the version that I currently have on the computer. Usually, on my experience, the best way to upgrade to a new version of Windows is through a clean installation. And the reason is that with a clean installation, I'm going to start with a fresh install and that can help to fix performance issues with the computer and it will also fix other problems that it might happen on the older setup. Also, if you perform an in-place upgrade, that could also increase the chances that you might run into issues that might not be necessarily issues with your operating system, but just because how your computer is configured and trying to adapt to the new version. Yes, you will need to reinstall your apps, reconfigure your settings, and restore your files from backup. It will take a little more time, but it's the best solution and that will minimize many of the problems that you might run into if you do an in-place upgrade. Also, another tip is that if you choose to do an in-place upgrade and the upgrade doesn't work and your computer roll back to the previous version, don't try to upgrade again. I have done this in the past and after you upgraded and the computer rolled back because of an issue, if you try to upgrade again, you're likely to continue to have different issues. So at that point, whenever you're ready to upgrade, you'll be better off using a clean installation of Windows. Now, the question remains, should you upgrade to Windows 11 version 24H2 or you should wait? So my answer to that is that you should wait, at least at the beginning. It is never a good idea to jump quickly into a new version since unknown bugs, errors, and compatibility issues are expected during the early days. Eventually, you will get a notification on the Windows update settings that your computer is ready for version 24H2. If you don't see the option, I don't recommend you to upgrade using different methods because that could indicate, as I said previously, that your computer might not be compatible, at least at that time. Now, if you don't see any new features that will drastically change the way that you use your computer, I will just stay with the same version for a little longer. Now, it is important to know that Upgrades are important and you should not skip a new version entirely. The reason is that eventually the version that you're running on the computer will be discontinued. And if that happens, your computer can become vulnerable. So once the up, so when the new version proves to be more reliable, then you can proceed with the upgrade. So no matter if you do an in-place upgrade or a clean installation, you should always perform a full backup of your computer before proceeding to any modifications on the operating system. Actually, you should be making a full backup or at least a backup of your files at least once a week to make sure that your files are protected. All right, that's all. If you have any questions or you're having issues upgrading 
to the new version of Windows, now you know the reason. And if some of the features are not available on your computer, now you know why. Now, if you can't wait to upgrade, check the video descriptions that I have different videos with tutorials to perform a clean installation of Windows, to perform an upgrade, and you can also find the tutorials to upgrade a computer that doesn't meet the minimum requirements and also to perform a clean installation as well as the elements that you need in order to perform these installations. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.